Fans of 90 Day Fiancé are often reminded of sweet couple Alan and Curliam Cox while watching the troubled relationships in newer seasons of the franchise, and it's time to share an update on the pair. Alan from Los Angeles, California, and Curliam from Goiânia, Brazil. Featured in 90 Day Fiancé Season 1. They got married in a Mormon temple while they were still virgins. Apart from this, Alan and Curliam are also remembered for their large age gap and the controversial way that they met. When Alan first laid eyes on Curliam, she was about 12 years old, and he was roughly 20 years of age. Fans want to know if Alan and Curliam are still together. When Alan traveled to Curliam's home country, Brazil, while on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, he befriended her family, one year after they joined the religious group. After that, he lost contact with them for six years, until he returned to Brazil to attend a friend's wedding. When he went back, the American 90 Day Fiancé star was 27 and Curliam was 19. At that point, they started a romantic relationship. After Alan proposed, Curliam moved to the U. S. on a K-1 visa and wished to pursue a modeling career. The charming Curliam was considered very attractive by almost everyone, which Alan wasn't okay with. He nipped her modeling dreams in the bud. After their Mormon temple wedding, the couple honeymooned in Hawaii. In October 2017, Alan and Curliam welcomed their first baby, a boy named Liam Cox, before they moved to Fremont, Utah to stay with Alan's parents. In 2020, Alan and Curliam returned to 90 Day Fiancé with 90 Day Fiancé, self-quarantined, where they revealed that they were now living in Charlotte, North Carolina. However, Curliam and Liam were not actually with Alan during the filming. Fortunately, it wasn't because Alan and Curliam had split. They were apart because she had been in Brazil visiting her family when the COVID-19 pandemic started. She had gotten stranded there. The reality we are living in right now scares me, Alan had commented, as he prayed for his wife and son to come back safely. All Alan and Curliam could do was stay in touch via phone calls and texts. Alan and Curliam's 90-day fiancé romance didn't fail, as she appeared to return to North Carolina by May 2020. Shortly after they celebrated their 7th anniversary in September 2020, Alan and Curliam revealed they were expecting a second baby. They made the pregnancy announcement in December of last year. The TLC pair reenacted one of their favorite scenes from Friends, where Rachel Green tells Ross Geller that she's pregnant. Alan and Curliam aced David Schwimmer and Jennifer Aniston's roles. In June of this year, the couple became proud parents to their son, Enzo Cox. Alan and Curliam announced the happy news with adorable snaps they shared with 90 Day Fiancé fans on Instagram. While Alan works as a project manager at an engineering firm and also freelances as a graphic designer, Curliam has become an influencer. She's an online star in the mommy blogger space. The loved-up twosome has now been together for eight years since their wedding, and they are still going strong. Although they keep a low profile when compared to most 90 Day Fiancé stars, fans agree that Alan and Curliam's updates are wholesome. In fact, their posts make people believe that true love can be discovered, even via reality TV.